welcome to today's prophetic word. I'm Kay Nash. Jesus, I already feel the Holy Ghost moving, so we're just going to jump right in. Um, I felt the Lord talking about broken nets, Jesus. It's time to take your nets out, for I am doing a new thing with you. Don't break the net you have by not being prepared in this hour. It is time to expand your territory. I push you into 5781 like a potter pushes clay. I mold you into the new version of yourself to advance you. The time of the advance is upon you. Now you go ahead. Now I push you up the elevator as we talked about in the beginning of the month. There it is. You have arrived. Feel it in the spirit. Your new position is here. You are promoted. Congratulations. You are on the next level spiritually with me. I will show you new things as I have not before. New visions, a time of visions. Now, um, you know, I was talking to the Lord about this word, and I was like, so, like, everyone's getting promoted? Like, what are you saying here? Um, and I felt like the Lord said to me, you know, 99% of the people in the body of Christ, and so I guess there's 1% that I don't know what that means. He didn't ex expand on that with me, but... I felt like he said 99% of people are like basically going up in the spirit, um, that their spiritual sensitivity is going to be increasing, that they're going to be going up, um, and there's just a promotion in the spirit. And a lot of times when there's a promotion in the spirit, it will happen first before something manifests in the natural. So um, you might be like, nothing happened, but that doesn't mean if you feel it in the spirit soon it will manifest in the natural okay things happen in the spirit before they happen in the natural jesus um now this was interesting because god was talking about don't break the net you have by not being prepared and i felt him referencing this verse and many of you will know it um and some of you won't he saw two boats at the edge of the lake the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets, Jesus got into the boat belonging to Simon and asked him to put out a little from the shore. And sitting down, he taught the people from the boat. When Jesus had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out in debt to the deep water and let down your nets for catch. Master Simon replied, we have worked hard all night without catching anything, but because you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done so, they caught such a large number of fish that their nets began to tear. Now, this is interesting because they were not expecting that many fish. And because they were not expecting their, that many fish, their nets teared. But what if you could expect the harvest and have the right size nets for what God was about to do in your life? I want to tell you to mend the nets. Get the right side nets. Don't have broken nets. Get ready for what God's about to do. God's about to bring increase into the body of Christ. Jesus. Mm. Move with the Holy Spirit. Get the net you need for your next level and your next season. Do not sit here holding on to the same net when God is saying, Get yourself a bigger net, Jesus. Get yourself a bigger place. Get yourself ready for what God is about to do so your net that you have now is not destroyed. Maybe you could sell that net. Maybe you could give it to somebody else. Maybe you could put it in the closet. But it's time to get a bigger net because what God is about to do with the body of Christ in 5781 is bigger than we can ask, think, or imagine. He is the God of the impossible. What can God not do in your life? What can God not change in your life? Jesus, he is is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. And you're sitting there looking at your problem and saying, God, what, what are you going to do something? And God's saying, here I am, beloved. I am coming to the rescue. I send angels before you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. All right. We're on fire this morning. Hallelujah. Um, this was another verse I felt the Lord highlighting. I love this verse. This is Isaiah 54, 3. Enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare. Hallelujah. Lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes for you shall expand to the right and to the left. Hallelujah. And your descendants will inherit the nations and make the docile cities inhabited. 
Mm, get ready, God is about to move. This verse is interesting too because it says, spare not, you know? Invest in what you need to do. Like, get ready for what God is about to do because the people are coming in, the movement is coming in, the money is coming in, the blessing is coming in, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he has to start to, when he starts moving with his blessing, things just start coming in. You know, it's like, it talks in the Bible about you know, that you won't have room to contain the blessing of the Lord when it starts coming in. And, but the thing is, he's telling you this now. You're not going to have room for it. So in faith, get the thing to hold the next thing you're believing for. You know, maybe it's a car and you need to get a place for the car. You know, maybe it's an airplane and you need to get a place for the airplane. Maybe it's, um, you know, you're believing God for a baby and you need to get another room for another baby. You know, it's like whatever it is, maybe you're believing God for your church to increase. Start walking towards the new building that would hold the next level of people. Can you contain what God is about to do in your life? Get your containers ready. Hallelujah, I feel the Holy Ghost. Get your containers ready, people of God. God is taking the wealth of the wicked and bring it to the righteous in this hour because it is our time of revival. And part of our revival is us reigning again. David reigned as king. And God is putting us in these positions of reigning because we pray on earth as it is in heaven. Do you believe that that's true or not? Because you're saying that I reign with Christ. I'm in the heavenlies with Christ. And you're saying that just out of head knowledge. No, 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 no. On earth as it is in heaven, we reign here too. Hallelujah. We reign here too. Pray for your break for today. I pray that your nets, if they break, okay, but God is coming with your overflow season. Get ready. The harvest is here, beloved. Mm. All right, you guys, I love you. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is our last day of August, but we are going to be doing another 16 days in September of daily prophetic words. So if you want to do that, come on with us. We're staying before the Lord for another 16 days and pushing into Rosh Hashanah. If you made it this far, congratulations. You're doing strong. You're going well. Don't get distracted by the devil. Let's push into September and see what the Lord will do. All right, you guys, I love you, and I pray you have a blessed day and an exciting September in Jesus' name. All right, I'll talk to you then. Bye, guys.